So that would be it for the plugins. We can now finally proceed <laughs> to the Silver Wolf um, companion mission. Actually, that companion mission got released back in version 1.1, I believe, but I didn't get the, the chance to play it, especially the especially the limited time event that's related to it, because I didn't have um, enough time. But no worries, we we can still do we can still do the companion mission right now. I I I actually saved this for stream. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do this without streaming it. So, anyways, <laughs> all right, we can now start with Punk Lord mentality. Go to base zone to answer the call. You received Arlan's message. He seems to want to formally thank you for helping him when you first met. Get ready to go to the base zone. All right. Every time I pass by this area, there's always a crowd there, and I keep on ignoring it because I didn't want to trigger the quest. <laughs> yeah, why? There's so many people. What's going on? Also, I'll, I'll just be bringing out my Hertha Space Station theme comp just in case there are enemies or something. Okay, let's just um, face wealth back here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's let's talk to Arlen finally after after one patch. <laughs> Correct. All the cabins they might pass by have been checked. Remember to report to lead researcher Asta. Hello. We'll deal with problems outside the base zone later. Ah, it's you. You look busy. Sorry, this is embarrassing. We suddenly had some stuff come up. I wanted to take care of it before you arrived, but I can't seem to even get a break around here. Never mind about that. Here, this is for you. I made it this morning, and I've been keeping it warm. You made me some fried rice. <laughs> It's just a little something I whipped up. Yeah, fried rice is good. I spent a long time wondering what to give you. In the end, I realize I should stick to what I'm good at. Miss Asta loves my fried rice, so I hope you like it too. Sorry it's so noisy here. I wanted to find somewhere quieter where I could get your feedback, but... Don't worry about it. Miss Asta said that gratitude has to be sincere. It's a shame that I had to finish it up so hastily. Some big shot suddenly decided to visit the space station today. Oh. Everyone has been in a hurry since the announcement. They're all worried that a bad impression could damage <laughs> Madame Herta's reputation. <laughs> Miss Asta said that the guest appears to be Madame Herta's research partner. Oh, okay. I if think he's I doing know who research this is. With her, he must be famous throughout the galaxy. I think I know who this is. Ah, uh, <laughs> time. The guest is almost here. If you're curious, just follow the crowd. Miss Asta and I will be there soon. All right, Punk Lord mentality start. Heard this research partner? I remember she once talked about the the elevator's entrance seems to be nearby. She'll check it now. <laughs> Change is shorter than our. <laughs> This is so adorable. She's shorter than him. Okay, another one. Wait, they all, they always have the same hair color. Yeah, but but Arlen's is is on the lighter side. I wish I can use Arlen soon. I'm I'm I am running out of level up materials right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can. Oh, this is where we first started in the game. I love this. It brings me back to the Kafka introduction. <laughs> wow, it's the first time I've seen such a spectacle. Even the top brass. So this visitor is. <clears throat> oh, get ready. There is a welcome party for him. 
hypothesis. Thought always precedes word. And yet, I can't find the words for this moment. It's good to see you, Asta. I apologize. I'm four minutes and 13 seconds earlier than the appointed time. I hope it's not a bother. It is so specific, sir. <laughs> of course not, Mr. Skrullum. Welcome to Herta Space Station. No need for formalities, Asta. Herta Space Station is where knowledge converges. Here we celebrate the equality of thought. Such collaboration between organic life forms is magnificent and efficient. You're rebuilding the space station far quicker than I could have imagined. It's so formal. We appreciate your high praise, Mr. Skrullum. Would you like me to show you around? Since the last summit, we've launched several new research projects focused on silicone-based matrices. Well, that sounds lovely. But I do have a meeting with Herta, so let's put the new surprises on hold for now. Madam Herta should be in her office. I'll take you there. Right this way. Sure. He's such a gentleman. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Skrulum. Hello, madam. You must be the one Herta has been talking about. She's quite curious about you, as am I. What is it like to live in symbiosis with a Stellaron? I hope we'll have sufficient time in the future to get to know each other and answer this question. So yes, Sorry. Rulum is... I wanted to show you around, but now I don't <laughs> think I'll be able to get away. That's alright. Go ahead or you won't be able to catch up. <laughs> we need to, um... We need to entertain the All VIP. Right. See you later. Yeah, I can't wait to learn more about Skrulum. Are you alright, sir? Arden is also busy. I'd better leave him alone. That person over there seems to be doing something to hurt this portrait. Oh, strange. It should be around here somewhere. Uh, maybe it's hidden inside Madame Herta's portrait. Huh? Uh, do you need something? If you're looking for the front desk, just go straight through those doors. Are you having trouble with something? Such a concerned and responsive tone. You must be the one everyone's been talking about recently. Your kind-heartedness is famous throughout the space station. Well, I am doing daily missions for the Hertha space station at times, so... Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Leonard, a cybersecurity engineer here at the space station. Hello, Leonard. You probably know that this place was recently attacked by the Antimatter Legion. In the chaos, the master control system for each zone was paralyzed. Now that the station is being rebuilt, my job is to repair equipment and restore the space station's cybersecurity. But during the repair process, I discovered some anomalies. The access records show that a third party other than the Legion invaded while the master control system was paralyzed. The Stellaron Hunters. Mm, some have surmised the same as you. We suspect that it may have been the Stellaron Hunters. It's an elusive group and very dangerous. Every member is on the IPC's wanted list. They include a super hacker from Punk Lord. I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost to her <laughs> once before. Well, Silver, Silver Wolf is that good. A while ago, I discovered her whereabouts during a screening process. I was planning to follow the clues to find more details about her, but I fell into her trap. Can you guess what happened next? She reverse hacked my device, sent out a bunch of spam, made a video game open to the space station, <laughs> and told everyone that an idiot named Leonard made a big silly mistake. Ugh, I don't want to think about it. Now that everything is calmed down, I thought they'd be on my case already. The silver lining? Madame Herta was generous enough to allow me to continue investigating this matter. Also, just a quick recap. I think back in 1.1, there was one time wherein um, Silver Wolf hacked the game. <laughs> you might have seen the event page at some point. Like um, the, the if you can if you if you click the event page button um, at the side of your screen, um, you will see that 
all of the event pages will will just be full of um, silver wolf pictures <laughs> yeah the, the pixelated silver wolf pictures they, they they were all over that time <laughs> it was a nice little touch a nice little piece of immersion i love that so much okay <laughs> she's getting revenge on you i wouldn't go that far i'm just a nobody you think madame herta would remember me to put it simply the leaders have given me an opportunity how could i not cherish it if I can make up for my mistakes and do a good job, I may have a chance to prove myself. This time, I plan to start from inside the space station and see if I can find some clues to trace the intruder's steps. Maybe I can find the blind spot I missed before. I designed a decoding program. Look, it looks like a camera, but it's actually a detector. We should be able to find hidden clues with it. Just like this. Leonard aims the detector at the wall. Something seems to appear on the wall. Oh, uh, uh, ah, that's, uh, it's the graffiti event. <laughs> a drop, a drop of sweat. Oh, really? Well, why is there a drop of sweat? Unbelievable. Why would something like this be in the space station? The staff wouldn't even dare scribble on the wall, let alone leave a drop of sweat. So this is what we're looking for? This suspicious evidence? <sighs> it wasn't what I was expecting, but... At least it's a clue. Wait a second. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, oh, I see. This is digital graffiti that appears to represent... Punklorian symbols. Punklorian symbols. If I'm not mistaken, this should be some kind of automatic encryption. We need to decipher it if we want to find any culpatory evidence. What does this have to do with me? Oh, you got me there. I got caught up in our conversation. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, let me think. Uh, maybe I've been under too much stress recently and I subconsciously want a friend. Anyway, if I were to find clues related to the Stellaron Hunters, wouldn't that be helpful to you too? Ah, just do me a favor. It won't take up too much of your time. Here, just point it at the graffiti on the wall. I'm so sad that I didn't get to do the graffiti event, but that's okay. I heard it was fun. Scan graffiti. So it was like this, right? Or get found. You pointed it at the graffiti on the wall and then some blinking blue pattern started to appear. Suddenly, the pattern imploded and engulfed its surrounding sounds and colors. Something inside seems to be breaking out from it. Oh, it's a battle. Ah! Why are there void rangers here? Let me through. I knew it. Good thing I brought out this meme. <laughs> Wait, do I have enough to gacha? <laughs> okay, not enough. That's okay. You can no still break this. You're not going anywhere. I'll see you off. Ow. Receive divinity. Cool. Oh, yeah, the event was pretty good, but I think the museum event is the most well done event. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead return! <laughs> when they keep quiet. Leave it to me. Okay. I got I gotta think um, about this next move. Hmm. I can do this. You know nothing of the way. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. You chose the wrong enemy. If we ever have enough time after um, finishing the Silver Wolf event, <laughs> the Silver Wolf mission, um, we'll proceed right away to the Battle Vault event. <laughs> the Seagum event. Let's begin. I haven't done it yet, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Silver Wolf! That scared me to death! Did you see that? It seemed like something popped up here, then Void Rangers jumped out! There seems to be an extra person. But look! Just like I guessed, this graffiti is encrypted! If we decipher it, we can see some hidden information. The surveillance camera captured her face. Silver Wolf. It's exactly the same as the photo on the IPC's wanted list. Let me see what she was up to. Is this a transmitter beacon? Oh, I see. She probably ran into the Antimatter Legion during the invasion, then used this beacon to teleport the enemies somewhere else. We accidentally activated the beacon again just now, and they were brought back. Jeez! Stellaron hunters have the ability to stow <laughs> enemies away like that? Beacon transmission that doesn't require a power source and can be implemented solely through computation? No wonder they were able to break into the space station. With this, I'm afraid not even Madame Herta's office is safe. Yeah, Silver Wolf was able to bypass a lot of the tech um a lot of the <laughs> security here. <laughs> Okay, is this kind of tech really that impressive? It's not only impressive, how should I put All right. it? Alright! She can edit she reality. She can edit reality as freely as she could edit a program. Sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? I always thought it was fringe science and that nobody other than the masked fools believed it really existed. There's a strange signal nearby. Maybe it's another piece of graffiti. Even put down a question mark. Wait, what? They must be <laughs> making fun of us. <laughs> Scan graffiti. They're all just emojis. <laughs> okay, let me click this one. And then there's another silver wolf hologram. She went towards the base zone. <sighs> yep. There's only one way. <sighs> Disappeared again? This thing ah. keeps coming. Deciphering it. She must have stopped here for a bit. Let's look around. Okay, exploration stop. Let's go. Okay, we have one here. Your fake ID info is ready. Ah, this is the one from the trailer. Ah, so that's what happened. She sneaked in first, then helped her partner in through the main door. It's a classic hacking operation. Let's see. The registered name is Leonard Colliwell. <laughs> Aha! You're the imposter among us. I knew you were sus from the beginning. <laughs> she she used my identity. I I never noticed that there was an issue with this record. I subconsciously glanced right past it when I saw my own name. She's so cunning. Maybe you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. It's an honest mistake! The reaction of any ordinary person is to check for unfamiliar names, right? I mean, uh, who would think to check their own name? Um, I... Okay, I think you have a valid point right there, sir. <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot uh, to grab this one. When I was young. Collect. Okay, more graffiti, so let's go. Wait. Um, oh, this one, this one. The yeah. graffiti's location is quite interesting. It feels like she's playing a game with us. One dot leads to another. It's really fun. <laughs> I heard from a friend that the hackers on Punk Lord have a tradition when they hack. They purposely leave something behind for people to discover. Kind of like throwing down the gauntlet. I wonder if you're gonna if you're gonna go to Punk Lord at some point in the future. They call this the Punk Lord mentality. There can only be competition when there is rivalry. And there can only be excitement when there is competition. Life's a game and having fun is what's most important. I don't understand that way of thinking. But it seems like this graffiti might have been left behind for us on purpose as a clue? 
The same thing happened last time as well. I was so close to the target, but got obliterated in the final battle of information. Let's focus on the work at hand. You're right. It doesn't help to dwell on past failures. Thank you. Ah, she seems to be leaving. Let's keep up. Okay, we're, go we're gonna take us this time. They seem to be heading toward the monitoring room. Yeah. <laughs> I'll drop there. Wait, wait, wait. I have priorities. <laughs> <laughs> I get stellar jades from this, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, this is the target for now because we need skill points to gamba. Okay, take them. Actually, I can just use the burst right now. So I'll just do that. And then you can do this. Time for some hardship. There we go. You chose the wrong. Ow. You wanna see what I can do? Take Su Shang Old. Oh, okay, okay. I just do one single target for now. Ow. Oh, oh. You're the best. Choose okay, me okay. strike. Alright, Gamble. Nice, nice. Can I get the trotter, please? Leave it to me. Okay, bounce. Yep. All right, we got this. Yay, I got this. I got it. I got it. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Let's settle this. <laughs> Eternal sleep is not that dead. Return. This is actually the theme that I use whenever I whenever I need to farm for enemy drops in her the space station. <laughs> okay, we're gonna continue following Silver Wolf. Oh, this room! I remember this one. And why do I have a chest here? Another graffiti. <laughs> They're all different too. She really put some thought into this. I swear, the treasure chests in this game are just hiding in plain sight and it's still hard for me to find them all. <laughs> okay, scan graffiti. Huh? Is this section of the record damaged? She went through the wall and disappeared. She teleported herself? I don't think so. That's not the same as passing straight through a wall. Look. Hold on. I got it. It might be an effect from a curio. There was a pre-established folded space here, and the intruders found it and took advantage of it. No wonder she kept going through the curio collection index. This space is connected to the Stellaron room. Do you still All remember right. it? That's where they put the Stellaron inside you. I think I remember this. Hmm. Why would they leave you here if their objective was the Stellaron? With her capabilities, all she would have needed to do was make another beacon. She would have been able to escape with the Stellaron, no problem. Huh? There's no graffiti here. Oh, we're doomed. The trail has gone cold. Ugh, so strange. <laughs> Did she really leave just like that? She came all this way and didn't take anything with her, nor leave anything behind. Oh, um, they did leave you behind. <clears throat> I mean, on Sorry. purpose, though. <laughs> that in my head. It must have been a terrible feeling waking up in a place that was completely unfamiliar to you. It wasn't so bad. I can't help but feel there's more that they're after. <sighs> I really hope I can find something that's useful to you. Otherwise, I'll feel bad for having you do so much work for nothing. <sighs> the more I talk about it, the worse I feel. I should probably find something that I can do. Hmm. There's a rating pistol here. Oh, not the rating, rating pistol. I haven't tried this that much yet, but... Oh, look here! 
There's a strange access log in the raiding pistol's compartment. It looks like the log time occurred during the Legion's invasion. The researchers would have already been evacuated by then. Hmm, could it have been her? In which case, she didn't leave immediately. She implanted the Stellaron inside you, and then fiddled around with, with the raiding, raiding pistol for a while. Could it be that... I just realized something. We need to go to the curio collection room on the other side. Wait, let me try this one first. Okay, what is Chengtra's rating? Rating pistol. <laughs> Item number 753 rating pistol. This weapon rates creatures on sight using unknown scoring logic. The closed eye of this weird little gun suddenly snaps open as it swirls around for a moment, staring at you with malice. The rating pistol gazed at Chengtra. 65 points, it announced. You think this score is kind of weird? <laughs> Just a number. We have an achievement for that. Okay then. Okay, Tushang next. I wanna. I wanna see you. Oh wait, I ha I didn't get to read. Wait, 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 wait. Eighteen points. How on earth is? Is it basing things on clothing color? I don't think so. <laughs> that, that is such a big difference though. <laughs> 65 and... Uh, oh my god. Okay, what's Wells rating this time? <laughs> I think this is rigged. Why would I read this well? 5 points only. Why? Why? The rating pistol. Did you know how many things this man has been through? Even though I don't know much about them. <laughs> okay, Locha. Locha next. I will try to do this with every character at my own spare time. <laughs> Just to see. Oh! Rating invalid. Its eyeball swivels around three times before suddenly widening. After a brief impasse, its eye shots warily. What on earth is this gun basing its scores on? <laughs> Locha, what did you do? Why is your rating invalid? Sir, what did you do? What did you do? <laughs> well, that was interesting. <laughs> Locha sauce <was> indeed. <laughs> the rating pistol has spoken. I will try to do that every time I'm restless or something. <laughs> Just as I thought, she <gasps> was here. I keep on forgetting this room. Like I, I saw a lot of people talking about this. Oh, okay. Wait, I wanna, I wanna check out something first. Wait, there's a certain item I wanna check. Okay. So I, I, I wanna check if um there's a difference if um if there's a difference between <laughs> Because I, I've heard um if you use Himiko to read the description of this of this display right here, um it the vibe will be kinda different as compared to if you use another character. Okay, so let's try um let's try wealth first. A few crimson fragments float in the air, drawn by an invisible force. They trace the shape of a broken blade. The rusted surface looks like a barren field scorched by flames as it narrates its past. A gust of heat suddenly arrives through the air. It touches your cheeks and pauses next to your ear. And then if you try Himeko... You, okay. This is the same? And then... Oh, this one's different now. You hear someone sobbing, someone yelling, and someone mourning wordlessly. Finally, someone whispers. She was reborn in the fire. She was smiling in the fire. So yeah, this is this is a reference to that one cutscene between Himiko and Kiana in Honkai Impact Third. I haven't played the game that much but i did see a cutscene of them because actually actually among all the 
Among all the Hongkai songs that I've listened to so far, um, Night Glow is my favorite song. <laughs> yeah, so I I I kind of know the story behind this. So yeah, it's a good, it's a good, it's a really good cutscene. <laughs> I love. I also love singing that song so much too. Okay. Oh, oh, this this one is a is the glider from Genshin. <laughs> the default glider. <laughs> a pair of black feathered wings hovers in the air at about the height of a grown human, maintaining the appearance of flight. You imagine the figure of an adventurer flapping those wings and rising with the wind. You feel the wind. A warm and welcoming wind blows into your face. Plays with the ends of your hair and fills your body. The wind sends you to fly beyond mountain ranges and vast oceans. Behind you, windmills turn and pastoral hymns chime. Before you, shooting stars stream down and snow glitters. So, based on the description of this, it, I think it's it's pertaining to Monstad. What a nice touch! It brings me back. <laughs> You open your eyes and wake from your imagination. The black feathered wings fly still as if recounting a story, as if singing a whole world. There's a lot of curios here. <laughs> I love how there's references to other Hoyaverse games too. Oh, there's a graffiti here. <laughs> I just remembered that Madame Herta has a game cartridge named Punk Lord Mentality in her collection. Game cartridge? You remember it, right? It's actually on the list of missing curios. I wasn't able to put the two together before. If the hacker has a personal objective other than the Stellaron Hunter's mission... I, I got it! I got it now! The Stellaron Hunter's operation was just a cover for her! He was actually after the curio. That's right. She was so interested in the curio collection index that she stayed in the space station even after her mission was complete. This was what she was truly after. She knew we would be looking for the Stellaron Hunters and used it as her cover. Very smart. To be expected of someone from Punk Lord. Hold on though. Something doesn't add up. The curios are Madame Herta's most prized possessions. All the visit requests are sent to her office from the mm. computer in the main control room. Some researchers tried to gain access to the curios for research purposes once, but they didn't get proper authorization. She caught them all red-handed. I wonder what she needs them for, though. Hmm. Could it be that the main control room was hacked as well? You got me there. But with the skills of this hacker, I do think it's possible. We should go and check the main control room. I want to check out all of these curios at some point. Okay, I will try my best to remember this area. So it's in... Oh, storage zone. Okay, near... Ah, this one. Okay, okay. I will... I will... I think I will stop by in this area quite often whenever I... Uh, if ever... Whenever I uh, need to farm for the... Ah, yeah, I do need the wind set for blade though. Yes. Okay, we're gonna head on to the main control room now. Wait, is it far away? Yeah, I think I'll just teleport through here. Ow! Oh my god! Wait. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Um... Safe zone, safe zone, safe zone. Okay. Wait, don't move. Oh, I get chills just looking at the space station monitors now. Let me investigate first. Just perfect. Not only did she shut off all the access logs, she shut off all the terminal transmissions too. I thought it was the Legion that did this. Do we need to do a restart? Let's focus on the main task first. I am curious though. She paused the terminal transmissions, but didn't touch the local data at all. Hmm. I really don't get her. As a Stellaron hunter, she leaves the Stellaron behind. As a hacker, she doesn't delete the local log. Hmm. There's an external port here. I'm gonna plug in and take a look. 
It might be a trap. Relax, friend. I've done this a million times. Look at this agreement. As you fear it, a burst of light shines and the enemy appears. Oh well. I think we're gonna have to fight again. Okay. So we're gonna do this. Perhaps you still don't understand. You know, can see as its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. No more playing nice. You won't get away. Gosh, I miss using Himiko. She got benched for quite some time during the Sandra Lofu main story because I uh, I had to I had to use my Clara team quite often. <laughs> Good to see you back, Himiko. <laughs> time for some hardship. Okay. Stand down. We can do this. All right. Good thing it's just one wave. See? I was right. There was something fishy about the local data she left behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now we can browse through the curio access logs. Huh? That can't be right. This curio doesn't seem to have ever left the space station. She didn't take the curio either. Hmm. From the way things look, yes. The records show that this curio was last sent to Madame Herta's office, and then it disappeared? I'm seriously confused. What did she come here for? She wouldn't have put the graffiti up just to mess with us, would she? Ugh. No, if I start thinking like that, I may as well give up now. I have to fully investigate every lead, or I'll really be out of a job. Yeah, she keeps on leaving so many breadcrumbs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to... Oh, wait! Straight to Simulated Universe? Nice. Nice. It reminds me I have it. That's not gonna happen. Oh. I'll say it again. I don't care what Runmei said to you, but there's no chance we're shutting down the Simulated Universe. Herta, I've made my decision. Question. What have we invested into this project? Hundreds of system hours, the resources of an entire planet, and the most advanced technology mm. in the entire universe. And what have we gotten in return? Unknowns, confusion, and a series of errors. In the beginning, we defined the simulated universe as a miniature world that could be used to discover the traces of the eons. But now, it's become something far removed from its original purpose. I'm also really super happy that um, the simulated universe has lore. Like I, I, I really love it whenever we get to, whenever we're introduced to another eon inside the simulated universe. Especially as someone who is um, who's, who's a lore enthusiast. <laughs> like okay, um, I I actually like the combat of this game, but at the same time, I I also really love it whenever there's some story sprinkled around whenever I do combat. So I, I, I am I am really um, impressed with how Honkai Star Rail was able to inter was able to integrate so much lore in in the actual game mechanics. Like that is so cool. The simulated universe is bound to make errors. You said that yourself, and that's exactly what we're experiencing. Why is that a problem all of a sudden? I adore the vast amount of knowledge, but I cannot accept that the simulated universe remains simply a pending contract waiting to be attended to. Herta, think about it. How many surprises has this project given you? And how many... The simulated oh. universe never disappointed me. I, I could... You are what disappoints me, Skrulem. Do you really think of yourself as someone so exceptionally amazing? <laughs> right now, you're more like, like, like someone from the Nitwit Society. <sighs> Herta, I don't mean to question you. Nor do I want to deny the hard work you've put forth for the simulated universe. I just want to give more room for knowledge and inspiration mm. to grow freely. So it's like, um... Differences. That's enough. Differences in vision. Leave if you don't want to be part of this. Go tell the other two yourself. Oh, and take your tech with you. I don't need it. 
I can go find Adrian Taylor or the red-nosed old man from Epsilon, or even the Intelligentsia Guild. At least they won't quit halfway. Ugh. Screw them. We've known each other for a long time. This is the first time I feel that you're nothing but a piece of ice cold metal. Oh. I want to read something real quick. Wait. Wait, wait. Sorry, before you go. Before you go. <laughs> I will need. I, I think I need a refresher on Hertha, Screwloom, and Silver Wolf Floor. So, so to start. Um, let's go um, read the <laughs> the description for the Screwloom's portrait. Member 76 of the Genius Society, Screwloom. I've known him for a long time. He's a really good man. A gentleman with an exceptional mechanical mind. I've learned a lot from him. Recently, I have been working with him and mm, Ralei on a project. I hope this project can help us get closer to the greatest mystery of the universe. So they're on a co collaboration together. And speaking of, she did mention a Ruan May, right? There's actually, there's actually a light cone about Ruan May here, so let me go get that real quick. Okay, <laughs> we're diving into light cone lore again. Nice. Okay, that would be erudition. There, there we go. So yeah, here in the Genius's repose light cone, um, you can actually see art of both Hertha and Ruan May. He's so pretty. Okay, let me yeah, let me see if I can find something here. It doesn't say anything about the simulated universe, but let me read it. Um, anyways, <laughs> also Crunch, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Okay, genius has repose. She pointed at that green rice cake. The experiment has ended. Time to take a break. I just can't miss this freshly made dessert. She saw the puppet girl frowning in deep thought. Well, in your current body, you can only you can only look but not eat. It it will I'll make you a box of new ones when the time comes. You saw the mechanical aristocrat hesitating at his own cup. Don't worry, it's only machine oil, perfectly safe for you to consume. Also, if I remember correctly, Ruan may also got um featured in in one of the random events in simulated universe. Wait, actually, let me check if um is. Can I see the text here? Wait, wait. Where's the Ruan May event? Wait, wait. It's not this. Also, the Ruan May event is. Oh my God! I think it's the best random event that you'll ever get. This one in um in simulated universe. Like it, you can actually uh, you can actually choose to to get certain. To get a to get all the blessings of a certain path, like at at one point when I was struggling with the Svarog, um, with Svarog difficulty one, um, I accidentally got this Ruan May event, and basically I chose to um, choose all uh, pick all the um, hunt blessings. Yes, <laughs> so during that fight, I got all of the hunt blessings. It's it's really cool. It, it's also randomized as far as I know because sometimes she gives abundance blessings and so on and so forth. Really cool. Well, so the I couldn't find the write up here, but but yeah, I think I will check. I will have to check the wiki at some point because there is. I think Ruan may mentioned something about what she does for the simulated universe. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's proceed to hurt the lore. I haven't read her lore actually, so this will be a good learning experience. <laughs> Number 83 of the Genius Society, the real master of the space station. An incredibly intelligent yet unsympathetic scientist. So let's um let's see if um there's something here. Wait. I want the simulated universe one. Hmm. I can't see any simulated universe related stuff, but no worries. I think I'll just read it. <laughs> I'll just read them all. 
Okay, character details. Her the space station stream master. As a human with the highest IQ in the blue, she only does what she's interested in. Dropping projects the moment she loses interest. The best, the best example being the space station. She typically appears in the form of a remote-controlled puppet. It's about 70% similar to how I looked as a child. Says Herta. <laughs> Yeah, also during the during the start of the main story, Asta also mentioned this that um Herta has the tendency to to drop um a project once she loses interest. Yes. Okay, part one. Madame Herta's manuscripts are extremely valuable assets. Its core rarity is not in how Madame Herta rarely fends the paper, but because to a genius like her, nothing is ever worth recording. Scientific research that would take normal researchers 10 years or even a lifetime to achieve may be able to shed light on an entirely new domain of research, but they are to hurt as ordinary as turning on a lead light. Who would waste time trying to systematically record such trivial matters? It's not just Madame Herta. Any documentation written by a genius society member is a priceless treasure. However, Herta is more generous and more un and more understanding toward normal people like us. She leaves her handwritten drafts behind in random places around the space station with as much generosity as she allows researchers to study the curios she collected. Of course, we all firmly understand that Madame Herta isn't being lazy and just discarding incomplete traps around the place. It's so she can claim to investors with possible deniability that I finished writing that paper but can't find it anywhere. <laughs> okay then, Herta, I I will I will let it slide. Part two. Everybody knows that qualifying as a researcher on the Herta space station is a is a cherished goal of the wider scientific community. Today, we're interviewing its owner, Madame Herta. First of all, can you please tell us what was your motivation for setting up a scientific research oasis like this? I have so much stuff and nowhere to put it. Ah, truly an unforeseen outcome. Even unintentional acts from the brilliant Madame Herta can benefit millions of ordinary people. However, evil will always strive in vain to destroy such a wondrous place. Madame Herta, what are your thoughts about the Antimatter Legion's last invasion? Don't come back! Oh, such a severe warning! This must, ma this must form an indispensable part of Madame Herta's illustrious achievements. The mere antimatter legion dares to invade this space station. But you don't even deserve Madame Herta's attention. Let's move on to the next question then. Okay, last but not least, part 3 because we don't have part 4 <laughs> at the moment. So, research, research, reset research progress on the space station has been hampered by the impact of the accident. Several researchers have been blaming themselves for betraying Madame Herta's trust and preference. May I ask, do you have anything you'd like to uh, you'd like to say to everyone? No, keep up the great work. Everyone wishes to to contribute to your scientific research, Madame Herta. No thanks. Indeed, no researcher could ever hope to match Madame Herta's scientific ability, which is why we're deeply impressed by your wisdom and insights. Could you please tell us, Madame Herta, whether you have any? research recommendations for everyone we'd love to learn from you no and i'm hurt your intellect and talents are obvious to all but normal people like us could never hope to be like you could you please could you please give us any pointers such as in what domain we might devote our limited cognitive resources to you should go home and sleep <laughs> interesting wait does she have voice lines about oh this one i will take a look at this chat visiting an eon why do I get to visit an eon? I'm Herta! That's why. Understandable. Have a nice day. The good thing about this club is that it doesn't ask me for anything. In fact, it doesn't even care if I'm a member. Thank you for your time, Madame Herta. That was a lot. <laughs> okay, okay. There's there are still two more things that I want to look before I talk to um before I talk to Scroom right there, so. I want to read about the Punk Lord Mentality Curio, so let's go find that. Okay, Punk Lord, where is it? That's, a that's actually a good Curio, by the way. So yeah, we have some flavored text right here. So, Punk Lord Mentality. Life is just a game. This sentence is no mere jest for hackers from the cyber world, Punk Lord. They traverse the internet and use a technology known as Ether Editing to alter reality, making life into a great game. 
Occasionally, the cream of the crop among them gets to soar away from the planet and use the vast galaxy as the second stage beyond the tutorial area. This cassette tape records the story of a legendary hacker. His life began in Punkward's underground water reservoirs and ended in the company of the Galaxy Rangers. Oh, it is said that the funeral was a quiet one with only a game cassette silently lying atop the coffin, serving as a footnote of finish the game at the hacker's final rites. So basically, um, those who come from punk or what I'm getting from them is that they treat the world as a game, as a simulation. Unfortunately, I do not have Silver Wolf in my account, so <laughs> too bad. But maybe at another time, I maybe if I have time in the future, I will read her lore in the again. Oh, in the Honkai Star Rail Wiki. <laughs> and yeah, this is the technique that they use to edit reality, ether editing. I wonder why it's called that way. And then last but not the least, let's look at another light phone. <laughs> I really love reading stuff from this. Okay. Um light cones. Alright, it's in Nihility, right? Okay, this one. This one, this one. So we can see Silver Wolf and um and uh, screw loom right here it actually talks about their rivalry so let's see she had once thought it was some sort of program how else would it never tire but the program would never actively discard the optimal solution and bypass her trap seems like we'll have a war of attrition <laughs> she haunts time to sleep organic life forms should treasure rest the surroundings dim she suddenly bolts awake, but the residues of data are stepped away and destroyed. It all seems like a dream, but the taste of defeat is very real. I really hope um they mention this um at some point during this Silver Wolf Companion mission. Wait, does her signature light cone have anything to say? Okay, not not much. It's a uh, <laughs> not that much. Okay, I think that would be it. All right, so. Without further ado, <laughs> now that I'm finished reading some stuff that I would like to see, let's go talk to Screwloom. Oh wait, I haven't taken a picture of him yet. Wait, wait, wait. I I almost forgot. <laughs> he's so tall. I wonder if he's gonna be playable. Like, like sure, Svarog is um is mostly Svarog is mostly tied to Clara rather than being a separate character himself so but still it makes me wonder if if um if screwdom is gonna be playable i really love how um a lot of the a lot of the character models for star rail are they're all very unique they do not share the same body type and the same design and wow he looks so also he looks so elegant right here <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me take wealth out of the picture for a bit just to see what he looks like. Oh! There's some gears on his suit right here. And also the back of his cape, it matches the... And also the green lightings here. It matches the butterfly that he summoned earlier. I wonder why he... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. These things, what are these things? Hmm. I wonder what the significance of the butterfly is to, um, Screwdom's story. Yeah, even his cape looks like... A <laughs> it looks like a pair of wings. Oh my god. Hoyaverse, please make him playable. He looks so good. <laughs> I wonder what his what his path will be if he ever if he ever becomes playable. Like he he's um he kind of gives up Nihility vibes to me, but that would <laughs> it's just my speculation. I could be wrong though. Also, his portrait right here, um, <laughs> he has a, he has, um, he has a gold, he has a gold, um, color right here as compared to, um, his actual in-game model, his, he's silver right now, so 
Yeah, that's probably... <laughs> he probably changes his appearance from time to time. Okay, I think that would be enough pictures. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Actually, wait. Never mind. Let me do another close up. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Nice. Do we have a. <laughs> well, I'm trying to see if I can make this, like, if I can make this into a thumbnail or something. So <laughs> that's why I'm taking so much time here. <laughs> yeah, thumbnails are so fun to make. Oh wait, let's do one with the. There, all the we can see all the. Genius Society members at the back. Ooh. Okay. Why is he so good in so many angles? Okay, I think that would be enough. <laughs> Let's talk to Imperial Fury. This is just my excuse to look at him for a long time. <laughs> I am stalling so much. It. Okay, yeah, I think that should be it. There we go. My apologies, madam. What's with her? This all started with me. I was the one that brought up the request to end our academic collaboration. Well, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against Herta or the project. The simulated universe is a great experiment, and Herta is a true genius. However, we have our differences when it comes down to our long-term vision for the future. These differences will often manifest into bias, and bias will get in the way of the formulation of knowledge. Deep down, I want to continue to believe in Herta. The question is whether one should end a collaboration that no longer holds true to its original intent. From an objective standpoint, I should end it immediately. Are you worried about her mental state? I'm more worried about the main about the mental state of the researcher. <laughs> Thank you for the humor. It is good for tense moments like these. The emotions of organic life are like tides. It is my fault for not noticing the trajectory of the moon. Oh. Let Herta be alone for a while, so she can calm her emotions. It'll be beneficial for our negotiations later as well. Oh, this line right here, the emotions of organic life are like tides. Oh, um, this hits a lot different now, now that I'm... Now that I've finished the Siangelo for main story, since emotions actually play a huge part in in um, in the Mara Mara stricken Mara struck phenomenon, um, I will have to look it up again. But I think Bushwan said something about um, the emotional threshold. Yeah, something like that. As for the simulated universe, if that's the reason you're here, maybe I can help in answering your questions. Explain what happened. Hmm. Search. Bonfire in the depths of the woods. A lone stone sword points to the stars. Punk Lord mentality. That is no ordinary curio, my friend. Good thing we read the Punk Lord mentality description earlier. <laughs> that is a love letter a galaxy ranger has written for the universe. Ah. Young madam, how much do you know about Punk Lord? I don't... I don't know much, but I've heard of it. It is a planet made of data and symbols. Mm -hmm. The edges of reality and illusion are blurred in Punk Lord, as are its days and nights. An ether cartridge is a chip that Punk Lordian hackers use to edit reality. The ways through which a hacker perceives and modifies the world are recorded on the chip. It's a recording of the hacker's life and proof of their existence. The one on the space station belonged to someone truly legendary. He became a galaxy ranger by accident and spent many long years traveling among the stars. He encountered countless fascinating individuals and saw wonders witnessed by few. Many of the records and details recorded therein are beyond the knowledge of even the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild. That is why it became part of the masses of calculation data for the simulated universe. Yes, no need to worry, my friend. The cartridge has never left the space station. It's, as I said, 
It is a very important reference for the simulated universe. That is why its data has been extracted and added to the calculations of the universe model. Herta was probably impulsive and added the cartridge into the simulation without telling anyone, resulting in the item being listed as lost. So, it was a false alarm? I understand your concern. If the individual in question did indeed try to hack into Herta's office, then the simulated universe is undoubtedly her next target. I love how there, we now have a lore explanation about why why the punk lord Vitality Kirio is in the simulated universe. That is so cool. It's also one of my go-to curios to be honest. Because it can it can add a weakness to to enemies. It it functions it kind of functions the same way as Silver Wolf's skill. As such. Please allow me to offer my limited abilities to assist you with your investigation, madam. As you already know, the simulated universe will be shut down temporarily. It will remain shut until Herta and I come to a clear conclusion. Yes, this is the last chance to investigate the cartridge data. By way of apology for shutting down the simulated universe, I will use my abilities in the universe to provide you with what assistance I can. This is my recommendation. Please take your time to consider it. Okay, enter the simulated universe with Skrulum's help. Optional, talk to Leonard. Okay. Did, did you hear that? I was so scared I couldn't utter a single word. The simulated universe? Shut down? That's Madame Herta's biggest project. I can't imagine how mad she'd be if it fell through. Wait, this isn't my fault, is it? If I'd been able to stop the enemy's invasion, would Mr. Skrulum be less pessimistic? Um, everyone's responsible. <laughs> a bit harsh, but... You're right. Ugh, this is terrible. I feel like I'm incapable of doing anything. Still, beating myself up all the time won't help either. We're here for the cartridge. At the very least, we must try and see this thing through. Having heard what Mr. Skrulum said, you're entering the simulated universe to continue the investigation, aren't you? <sighs> I'm afraid I won't be able to accompany you. I'll be helping Mr. Skrulum monitor the system's internal data flow from the office. <sighs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> this is the first time I've been involved in something so big. This is your big break. Anyway, I'll be cheering for you. Okay, thank you for the moral support then. <laughs> Alright, let's go in. Well, madam, are you ready? I hope I brought the right elements. I've got something to ask Please, you. Please, ask away. I welcome all forms of curiosity and the pursuit of knowledge. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Tell me more about Punkler's hackers. There is a group of life forms there that know nothing of fatigue. They are attempting to touch upon the umbilical cord of the truth. Oh. They are compiling the languages, thoughts, and even emotions of the entire planet into symbols that even inorganic life forms can understand. Compiling the languages, thoughts, and even emotions of the entire planet into symbols. You see, in the vast sea of data, life exists oh. only in one form. A line of code. Whether it's a butterfly, a whale, or even you. The length of that line of code dictates the boundaries of what the entity entails. Life exists only in one form, a life of code. Okay, so mm, the length of the length of that line of code dictates the boundaries of what the entity entails. So yeah, this is still part of the the world. This is the world is a simulation mindset of the punk lords. Okay, um, so I'm actually I want to say I am actually data, but. I'll go with butterfly. <laughs> so I'm actually a butterfly. I've always thought of you that way. Oh! 
Wait. There is a group of they are compiling. I want to check the see, other options. In the vast sea. So I'm actually a whale. Please, it's only a metaphor. <laughs> there is a they are compiling. You see, in the. So I'm actually data. Maybe the emotions of organic life forms oh. are an expression of data, don't you think? That's a food for thought. <laughs> Who are the Galaxy Rangers that you speak of? They are a group that carries a balance scale with them at all times. They believe all the justice in the universe needs to be achieved through individual deeds. This is also another faction that um, follows the hunt, by the way. Aside from the Siandro Alliance. Then what's the love letter for the universe? That was the most suitable way of describing the Galaxy Rangers mm -hmm. in my interpretation. They are directed by the path of the hunt there go. and are always accompanied by song and the sound of horns. They pursue justice for the individuals and groups they encounter along the way and shower them with splendid wines and poems. However, all stories come to an end just as they disappeared from the spotlight long ago. Are you really shutting down the simulated universe? Yes. There are other concerns besides those I've mentioned. I believe that the miracles inside the simulated universe have the right to grow and develop organically. The will of others shouldn't be imposed upon it, just like in the actual universe. The more Herta tries, the further she moves away from the universe that she had hoped for. Conclusion. The endless iterations of the simulated universe are wearing down her talents, day by day. I hope to free my dear friend from it. Nevertheless, I must also clarify that this is my opinion alone. You should form your own judgment on Herta, young madam. That's all the questions I have. Okay, let's get going. Very well. Get going, we shall. Get going, we shall! I will be sending you into the simulated universe using an alternative method. Oh, okay. It might feel a little different than usual. This will help us quickly locate the cartridge in the vast sea of data. We'll start with this data link. Now, please prepare yourself for a deep dive with your consciousness. This kind of reminds me of how in Genshin we had to we had to go to the to the center of the Irminsul with Scaramouche to help Nahida find something some, something like that. Okay. Okay. Um are we, I need physical Oh. Yeah, I think I'll just go with my usual spades team for this challenge. Oh, silver pool! Okay, okay. This should be fun. Mm. Alright, as usual, I will place Locha here. And then... Okay, well... Then, Sushang. Shang, where are you? Okay, there you go. <laughs> Alright, let's start. You feel a ripple, a great weightlessness that makes you lose control of your limbs, and in a flurry of symbols and code, you wake up with a jolt. This is the simulated universe. Young madam, are you alright? Where are you? I'll be staying on the outside. I need to make sure the system projections remain stable. Mr. Leonard is here as well. There's no need to worry. We will guarantee your safety. You are now inside the data link of the ether cartridge. Ooh. Look around and tell me what you discover. Okay, okay. Um, uh, that hacker is right in front of me. Hacker? Oh. Conclusion. That is a holographic record that the simulated universe has created. In here, regardless of how large or small, all variables are saved, including outsider traces. You were right. The enemy's invasion has spread to the deepest parts of the simulated universe. They were only a hair away from the ether cartridge's data link. What we are seeing are the projections of what happened in those moments. Mm. Young madam, please stay still. Allow me to see what I can do with this record. Hey, you. 
Why are you staring at me? <laughs> Why are you answering me then? It speaks! I initiated the simulation flow. This is just a record of the past. She is not actually talking to you. Please listen and don't interrupt her. We may be able to find out more of what we need to know. First off, I'm not obsessed with it. On Punk Lord, the stories of the cartridge are no different from textbooks. I'm not interested in something that everybody already knows about. Secondly, it's not some kind of video game cartridge. It's an ether cartridge. It's the second pair of eyes, second brain, and second heart of the hacker. Oh, second pair of eyes, second brain, second heart. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what that actually means? With that cartridge, if a guy went to a movie premiere and bought some mixed popcorn, you'd be able to know the flavor of the fourth kernel he picked out of the bucket. It's truly amazing. Lastly, I'm gonna say it again. I am not obsessed with it. The reason I'm still rambling about it is to make sure that you know how amazing it really is. Do you get it now, Kafka? All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. This place is different from the rest of the space station. We're on Genius Society turf. It is safe to assume that two people entered the simulated universe. Yes. Her and her companion. Interesting. Let's see what happened next. You are now taking the point of view of the companion. She will react to your behavior now. <laughs> Alright, we can now control Silver Wolf. Oh god, um, actually I had to skip Silverwolf for Locha, so... But yeah, I don't actually mind getting her on a rerun because her kit is actually very useful. Also, I want to check something out. Wait, 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 wait. Ether... Um... I'm not sure if I'm looking at the right piece of floor. Ether, ether, ether. This is probably different from the ether cartridge that they were talking about. Hmm. But yeah, I still want to read them though because they they do have something um interesting here. So yeah, let's start with sparse ether. Uh, um, by the way, these are the weapon XP thingies that you use to level up um light cone stuff. <laughs> Anyways, as far as ether, an imaginary substance that shouldn't exist in reality, the basic material to create light cones. The images contained in the light cones become clearer when infused with this substance. I see, so this is the supposed sentient of the Garden of Recollection. No wonder the memo keepers can set off on galactic voyages with memories. I have a lot of thoughts about the Garden of Recollection, but that would be for another time. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think they're my favorite faction at the moment. Okay, well, let's read Condensed Ether. Uh, handle with care, do not drop or place pressure upon it. If damages and leaks occur, please, please refer to Chapter 2 of the Leak Disaster Response Manual for emergency response. Okay, not that much. We didn't get anything from that. Uh, a can okay, refined ether. A canister of ether that has been extracted and is still using special procedures. The garden looks forward to create to recreating a past glory, but it is a past glory selected by them. Do you understand? They're mentioning the garden of recollection again. Hmm. Yeah, this probably isn't the ether cartridge. Yeah, it's it's, it's more related to the garden of recollection rather than the rather than the punk lords. So yeah, might be a different item. You took the bait. Okay, impair. Hmm. You want to see what I can do? All right, imaginary weakness. Let's go. Okay. I should add an imaginary weakness for that one. Time for a plan. <laughs> Okay, let's um do this. Oh, what does her technique do? I actually forgot. Okay, um, let's add a weakness. Who else does it now? Okay, let's do this. Time for a bug. <laughs> no more playing nice. Still quantum. Okay. 
All right, I forgot to use the ultimate. This combat needs optimizing. This is double speed. Love how she's just um playing a rhythm game in her ultimate. <laughs> Fork in the road, huh? I got this. Wanna pick one first? Give your beloved instincts a try. He talks a lot. <laughs> it's a nice thing to have a companion who likes to talk, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Wrong choice. The correct answer is the path on the right. You want to go to I actually in simulated universe I always go straight to the to the combat domain. <laughs> okay, oh this feels like my simulated mm, universe runs again. Not what we're looking for. It's a bait signal. Ugh, why would Herta put something like this inside the simulated universe? Doesn't she find it annoying when she has to find something herself? Never mind, I miscalculated. Let's try another sector. It doesn't seem to be going well. She's actually on the correct path. She just needs to continue a little further. I trust that she too will realize this soon. <laughs> you seem to know her really well. We've met only once. Mm. Stellaron Hunter, Silver Wolf. Oh, this one. We fought against one another before. Herta was there as well. She may have mentioned it to you. I recall that it was a draw? It was more like a test than a duel. Mm. She would attack and I would defend. Neither of us gave it our all. She wasn't able to break through my defenses and I wasn't able to stop her from leaving. I never thought our next meeting would take place under these circumstances. I believe the continuation of our last encounter will soon arrive. What the? This was the right way all along. Ugh, Herta's got some psychological tactics going on. Seems like we can now continue forward. Okay, we can... <laughs> We can now go here to the main combat. <laughs> oh, back to the space station again. <gasps> A riddle? W where's the skip button? Skip button. Thank you for showing us the way, Silver Wolf. <laughs> I don't have to go to the controller anymore. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 technique, technique. Ah, immediately attacks enemy. Okay, okay. One. Oh. You took the bait. That's kind of. That's kind of strong. Okay. Impair this one. Time for a plan. <laughs> oh, and then it got obliterated. Okay then. Okay. Bounce. Okay, we have another one here. One. <laughs> so convenient though. Okay, um, we're gonna add a weakness here. Time for a plan. <laughs> oh, it got obliterated. Not again. <laughs> you know nothing of the which anyway. survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Um. Skill, then old. Then you can do this. Another one. You chose the wrong enemy. Normal attack. Ooh. Huh. Eternal More sleep enemies. is not the dead. Dead return. Okay. In there. Time for a buzz. No more playing nice. <laughs> this is double speed. And then we're gonna go. 
What happens if we go here though? Oh, it's not letting us go here. Okay. Anyways, the main rest. Finally, almost there. <laughs> There's even a miniature Herda over here. She has become self-aware. Ish. A little narcissistic, isn't she? The whole space station is filled with her face. Portraits, statues, <laughs> even projections of herself. Um... You have a point. I was planning on adding a mustache for her, but the spray didn't work. The entire space station feels like it's made of paper, but her portrait is near indestructible. <laughs> She's talking about that portrait in the elevator room, no? Herta commissioned me to design an encryption tool for <laughs> her. Seems she ended up using it on her portrait. Oh, oh, it looks like Herta has her priorities. <laughs> She said she's almost at the destination. That's correct. The ether cartridge data is in the next room. Our pursuit is coming to an end. I have a strange feeling about this. Yes. That incongruous feeling has persisted throughout this long pursuit. She came for the Stellaron, but showed a strong interest in the Curios. And just as we found out about the existence of the ether cartridge, she just so happened to show up in the simulated universe. I must admit, this feels less like a chase and more like a chance encounter. I recall a story about Punk Lord. It is said that graffiti is a special kind of symbol there. Hackers see reality as a magnificent game and attempt to finish the stage we know as life. Oh! Okay, hackers see reality as a magnificent game and attempt to finish the stage we know as life. The game of life, yes. Whether it be for competition or for joy, they leave a trail in the places mm. they visit. One symbol after another link up to become a long, long journey <laughs> that writes the game of life. And would this ongoing affair not be part of such an endeavor? Perhaps this is all nothing more than a game she's decided to play with us. In which case, let us accompany her till the end. Okay, we have a... Oh, it's a domain boss now. Kurt, are you not gonna give us... um? What are those things called again? The ones that you use to buy... To buy... um. Wait, cosmic fragments, right? Cosmic fragments? Yeah. You do not have the power of cosmic fragments by our side, it seems. Anyways. Okay. So let's... Let's wait. This is the key. And then... This Stay. one. Oh my god, stop! Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Nice, 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 nice. Trickier to crack. We're off to a good start, I think. Anyways. I hope um, please add an imaginary weakness here. I swear. Im impair. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Leave it to me. Okay, okay. More enemies. Single target. Let me through. Single target. Okay, we can break this. Nice, nice. Time for some hardship. All right, bounce. Oh. Know nothing of the weight. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I'll see you all. Okay, single target. <laughs> all right, skill. Then what now? Ow. There you go. Okay. You can do another skill. And then another skill. Alright. We're you almost there. The Normal attack. Single target. Normal attack. No more playing okay. nice. Skill. Nice. Can I have fun this time? Let's begin. And this bam. combat needs up to <laughs> This is double speed. Look, we found it. The ether cartridge is here, and it's perfectly intact. But something's not right. There is an unwelcome third party here with us. If what we are seeing constitutes past images of Silver Wolf, then for her to have made it this far would have entailed the disappearance of the cartridge. 
We can only assume that the facts don't align with the theory. I believe that she was indeed able to hack into Herta's office, but she didn't stay there for very long. Mm. After all, even the best hacker wouldn't be able to find a specified target in the vast ocean of the simulated universe's data. Unless... Unless she had someone to guide her there. It speaks! <laughs> you want to explain it to her first? I can see the confusion in her eyes. It was just pretending to be a hologram. The final results are on the display table, young madam. Take a closer look if you wish. We have plenty of time left. I will answer any questions that you may have. You knew everything from the start? I'm sorry. Herta forbade me from disclosing any information beforehand. She made clear that knowledge would not be paramount to this operation, but rather the lack of it. However, the way I see it, the most important elements were dedication and sincerity. The actions of Mr. Leonard drew the target right in. Mm. So the graffiti was bait. The graffiti is like a two-way data tunnel. You can use it to retrace the trail she leaves behind, and she can monitor your progress by seeing which pieces of graffiti have disappeared. I fear she may well have had the whole thing planned out before hacking the space station. The graffiti and the back door were all in aid of honing in on just the right moment. So she's actually... You've guessed correctly. The person that stands before you is tonight's starring role. She left herself a back door in the office, performed a proxy hack the moment you entered the simulated universe, and found a way to continue alongside us. I must say, she really is a masterful actor. Misdirection is always the most effective method. In conclusion, it speaks. <laughs> I don't have any other questions. Well, then. Were you satisfied with this simulated universe journey, Miss Silver Wolf? Huh. You knew it all along, didn't you? I knew it would be hard to fool you. All that talk you were spouting along the way was meant for me, wasn't it? It is a joy and an honor to have <laughs> the opportunity to face off against you once again. Herta said that this cartridge would be able to lure in the biggest fishes in the universe. She was right. I hope we get to see it though. It's a, it's just a spark of light right at the moment. <laughs> so, the business about shutting down the universe and the argument with Herta was all just an act? You did all that to lure me in? That is up to you to interpret. Herta and I have always been frank with one another. Sharp conversations of that nature happen on a regular basis. It wouldn't be fitting to call it an act. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Just still convincing, though. Miss Silverwolf is truly a talented hacker. Not only did she calculate everything ahead of time, she has numerous variables and aces still to play. News of my sudden visit to the space station was probably the only uncontrollable variable in her plan. And with my arrival came the nightmare of shutting down the simulated universe. That would have ruined her plans and all her preparations. That's why she had to take the risk. You now know everything about this encounter. Everything? No, no. You're wrong about the most important part. You think I came here out of desperation, but I've been bursting with excitement this whole time. Do you know how happy I was when you showed up, Screwlum? I haven't had the thrill of a formidable opponent in such a long time. The Legion is nothing but a bunch <sighs> of cavemen, and the IPC were a disappointment. Only the Society has the talent to provide me with a fun challenge. Reality is nothing but a game. But what's the point of a game if it can't make you happy? An invitation letter and a challenge letter were sent to me from two geniuses. How could I not accept them? Would you have turned them down? You're confident you'll be able to get out of this in one piece. That's right. And I'm bringing this with me. When did you... Oh, a copy. You completed it while we were talking just now. 
Why else would I entertain so much small talk? You're not the only one stalling for time. I'm guessing that Herta is hiding in a corner somewhere, trying to pull off a reverse hack from where I hacked in. You, on the other hand, are responsible for taking me head on, just as you did last time. And I'm looking forward to it. How do you plan on stopping me this time? Are you going to turn the simulated universe into a black box? Or are you going to work with the IPC and put together a cross-galactic encirclement? Screwlem, will I be able to see your true strength this time? The long-awaited result will finally be determined. There will only be one victor today. Please, let me have some fun this time, okay? My apologies, Miss Silverwolf, but none of what you are hoping for will be happening today. You may leave now. You're just gonna let her go just like that? <laughs> huh? Leave? But why? Aren't you trying to catch me? Don't you want to cuff me and exile me on some distant planet? Your creativity has proven interesting. However, I have nothing to do with your quarrel with the space station. Ergo, I won't stop you. I'm gonna leave with this cartridge then. That's just a duplicate. Correction. Not only is the one in your possession a duplicate, but so is the one here. Oh. <laughs> the real Curio was transferred elsewhere at the very beginning. Conclusion. You may share, share that, that data, data freely. freely. What if I attack the space station again? It would have nothing to do with me. But I must warn you, it is likely that someone would step forward to stop you. Then what if I were to destroy the simulated universe right now? I'm sorry, but that simply isn't possible. Ether editing oh, isn't okay. capable of destroying an entire universe. Yeah, looks like it has its limitations. What is the point of this then? You guys went out of your way to put together this trap, but don't plan on doing anything at all? That's right. This way, the game that you so carefully orchestrated is now pointless, is it not? There's no point in a game if it's no longer fun. Silver Wolf. I know what you're after. The IPC's shackles won't be able to hold you, and jail is but another game to you. Herta and I came to an understanding. We will no longer enable you and give you what you need. Oh. <laughs> How boring. However, Herta felt that this would be too easy on you, and wanted to add something of her own. And that is why, in this very moment, she has reverse hacked you and located all your interastral <laughs> network accounts. A total of 76 accounts. A very oh. impressive number. Who on earth would make so many accounts like that? Like, I, I, I could barely even make two or three or four or five. <laughs> okay, I think my limit is... Um, yeah, less than 10, less than 10. <laughs> Do this. How would it be if the IPC were to freeze all of them, including all of all your, your game, game records? records. <laughs> what? Hey, hold on a minute. And she logged out. How hasty of her. Yeah, I would be mad too if my game records got um, <laughs> erased <sighs> or something. <laughs> Games are always fun in the eyes of a child, but to an adult... They are but one among many ways of solving a problem. It's about time we were on our way. She panicked real quick there. <laughs> okay, talk to her. Oh, both of them are here. Nice, nice. Okay. Since this is a very rare moment, I will take a picture of them. Oh god, screw them, please be playable in the future. <laughs> His design is so good. Okay. Yeah, I think that should do. Wait, can I talk to you? Okay, nope. Alright. <laughs> a flawless victory! Hope you got a glimpse of Herta's awesomeness, kiddo. As expected of Madame Herta. Hmm. Make sure you never forget about it. <laughs> I couldn't care less about what happened with the space station, but I will surely repay the favor tenfold. 
to anyone who dares to taunt me. I already notified someone at the IPC to freeze all her accounts. <laughs> She's probably <laughs> crying in front of her computer right now. <laughs> Talk with Skrulu. <laughs> she find it real quick when when um when she find out her game records got compromised. <laughs> Thank you, young madam. Your and Mr. Leonard's contributions were a necessity to our victory. Do you have any other questions oh, regarding yeah. this incident? I do, I do. Um, what is Silverwolf truly after? Her ultimate goal was always the Ether cartridge, but she developed an alternative objective in challenging Herta and me in the process. All those complicated puzzles and unnecessary ploys, nothing more than games, I'll wager. Will the space station be invaded again? If you are referring to the back doors Silver Wolf left behind, we have cleared out all of them, except for the one in the office. Don't worry. The space station is not as fragile as you think. Whether it's cosmic warfare or the incident that just took place, they're all within Herta's grand plan. I want to ask about something else. Please, ask away. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, what is the ultimate meaning of the existence of the universe? There is no one answer to that question, my friend. It holds a different meaning for everyone. To sentimental, organic life forms, it could be the first falling leaf in the change of seasons, or the marks carved onto someone through the passage of time. Wow. To the swarm that follows its instincts, it might be the sight of fresh meat in their compound eyes and the restless thirst for sustenance. The propagation. And for me, perhaps the image of symbols woven together, still able to move the heart. Something great that you call emotions. That's, a, that's an interesting way to put it. Of course, I've also heard that the answer is nothing more than a two-digit number. Will, will you still shut down the simulated universe? Certainly not. Good. Although Madam Herta and I have our differences in terms of research direction, the simulated universe is our shared pursuit, and nothing will change that. On the contrary, I plan on staying here for a while to see up close what kind of surprises the new branch of the universe has in store for me. What do you plan on having for dinner? <laughs> a medium rare kettle steak, salt baked kalia lemongrass, Wait. Herman compound milk, and a portion of fried rice prepared by a certain Aww. young man on the station. Oh, Arlen's fried rice. All I need is energy. The form that energy comes in is the same as it is for mm. you. I would never forsake the delights of the culinary world in the interests of efficiency. <laughs> Now, it is possible that my joints may need a little lubricant every now and again. So he can still eat. I see, I see. I want to ask about something else. Oh, okay, I think I have no more questions. Well, young madam, our destination may differ, but there are still countless opportunities for our paths to cross. The pursuit of knowledge will always be the best driving force mm. for trailblazing. Okay, now that I think about it, he's more of, um, I think he gives up erudition vibes now. <laughs> I'm calling it either, he's either erudition or nihility if ever a hoiver makes him playable or something. We don't have a, we don't have any news about it at the moment. Okay, talk with Leonard. So, the reason Madam Herta wanted me to continue the investigation was to lure her out of hiding? That never crossed my mind! Did she know about the traps the hacker left in the space station from the very beginning? You were the most fitting, bait. <laughs> she said I did a good job! I don't think that's a compliment. Can you believe it? I've just been acknowledged by Madam Herta! This is something I'll remember for the rest of my life! I don't have to worry about being fired anymore! This chapter has come to a conclusion. Come, let us close the final back door. 
That's, that's such a poetic way of saying <laughs> that. Okay, scan graffiti. Wait, wait, wait. Scan, scan. Alright. Successfully identified. You watch the image on the wall slowly dissolve and disappear, and that's the end of it. Ugh. Oh! It's gone! Oh! It's all gone! They seriously left nothing behind! They went too far this time! Too far! Alright, alright. Stop with the tantrum. You're not a kid anymore. I am not throwing a tantrum. Wait, where on earth are they, though? Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you gonna do now, huh? Hack an IPC branch nearby and get your accounts back? Ugh. <sighs> if it were just one or two accounts, sure. I kind of overdid it this time. I lost basically everything. A branch office probably won't be enough. I'm gonna have to make a trip to Pierpoint. What, you're going alone? That's the IPC's headquarters. Yep. Just me. Why? Do you want to come with? I probably won't be able to. Ah. I'm in Alia's next script. Did you forget? So this happened... Yeah, this happened before the San Jolofu main story. Oh, right. That story doesn't sound like it fits me. You guys have fun. I hope you have a good time in Pierpoint as well. Don't worry. I've already got an idea. You see that cloud diner just two kilometers from here? A few temps from the building material logistics department just stepped in. I'm gonna go and become their friend. Getting a move on already? I would have thought you'd at least want to spend some time with that cartridge you were obsessing about. I told you. I'm not obsessed with it. Besides... There's fun to be had along the way. She starts running through the effulgent neon nights, just as she had left her homeworld that night. Oh, sprinting towards the stars. Starlight elongates her shadow, illuminating the history of Punk Lord. Those who penned the legends, their vows remembered by the stars. The earliest role-playing gamer said, Games are about growth. The calm tactical strategy gamer said, Games are about the victories. The rebellious collaborative gamer said, Games are about encounters. The loving narrative gamer said, Games are about remembrance. And now the young galactic adventure gamer, she said, A game is a game, and that's all there is to it. I love that conclusion right there. Also, I was really, I was really surprised to see Kafka at the end. <laughs> oh, new message. <laughs> Leonard again? Hey friend, you're still at the space station, right? I want to talk to you about something. Why did, why didn't you say this before? I did want to say that with so many people around. My boss was there too. It's been a while since that incident, but I'm still very worried about the space station cybersecurity. I want to prepare while I can and I've got an idea that I want to run past you. Let's talk about the details face to face. I'm outside the office. Please make sure to stop by. Silverwolf has become a visitor to the express. You might come across Silverwolf when you return to the express. Yay! Okay. Like always, I will teleport right back to the Astral Express. This has become tradition at this point. <laughs> okay, Silver Wolf time! Oh! Okay. <laughs> it's just her hologram once again. I was expecting that you'll see her actual self here, but it looks like not. Okay. She's so short! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, let's take out um Stell out of the picture. Alright, zoom in, zoom in. Yeah, I don't think um I don't think her actual self would be welcome here in the chill in the in the Astral Express. <laughs> the Astral Express and the Stellron Hunters are literally rivals at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I wish I had Silver Wolf, but I'll get her in another time. Okay, let's go talk to her. Hello. You blinked your eyes and made sure that the person you saw, you just saw, was Silver Wolf. She wasn't supposed to be here. What are you do? What are you doing on the express? What do you mean? What am I doing? Everyone else is here. Can't I be too? Um, fair point. Relax. I'm just dropping by for a visit. I was hacking through the dark regions of the inner astral network a while ago and happened to see a signal from the Astral Express. So I thought I'd stop by to check it out. What you see in front of you is a hologram. Just as harmless as the whale holograms you see floating around the Express. Here, see for yourself. She poked your stomach, the part of her finger that touched your clothes disappeared. Seeing is believing, right? If you're still not convinced, you can cut off the network connection on the Express, and I'll disappear into thin air. Until you turn it back on, of course. Do we get 10 stellar jade for that? Yay! So I think um we've now done um during this week we've done five companion missions and yeah so far it has it has been a different experience for <laughs> for each um for each companion mission though i have to admit that there were actually a lot of there are actually a lot of dialogues here in the in the silver wolf companion mission that i wasn't able to fully digest maybe it's because of my lack of knowledge with um with when it comes to computers and hacking and stuff it's not my it's not my field it's not my forte <laughs> so i might have a feeling that maybe those who are those who are studying computer related stuff might be more familiar with this <laughs> because i i've actually also heard that um silver wolves adelons um the name of her adelons they're actually real terms wait Wait, can I access her from the archive even though I don't have her? Wait, let me see. Um, character. Healthy. Okay, so I, I can still see her here. Okay. A member of the Stellaron Hunters and a genius hacker. She sees the universe as a massive immersive simulation game and has fun with it. She's mastered the skill known as Aether Editing, which can be used to tamper with the data of reality and then yeah yeah from what i've heard these are actually these are real terms they're they're not just flavor terms <laughs> so yeah i think um to all the to all the computer um to all those who are familiar with computer science related fields or something you might be more familiar with this than i am because i do not know anything about this <laughs> not at all i i i am i am not a stem major <laughs> yeah yeah so yes that ends the silver wolf companion mission